so hello guys and how are you guys doing today and uh, today i will be showing you how to configure a tda node uh, inside uh, one of your pcs uh, which is located in your network so for this i will be using windows uh, for my node uh, pc so as you know tda is a transcoding system which is used to transcode different uh, audio or video files to different formats so for that you will need to have a node so for that case i will be using one of my nodes not in my network but instead i will be using one of them which is located inside my unread vm so the reason is if you go to docker inside my unread server you should be able to see that i am running a tda server but not on uh, a windows pc but on my unread docker so if you already are running unread you should know that uh, tda uh, node is also available inside docker but the problem for me is as i am running vms uh, so also for those vms i am uh, passing through a gpu so the gpu that i am running is the only gpu that i have inside my unread server so if i am uh, planning to use my vm while i am transcoding using tda I cannot do that because uh, for TDA and for Unread, there cannot be a, a single GPU in use. I have to use two dedicated GPUs for those two tasks. So as I don't have two GPUs, I cannot do that. So my main priority is to run my VMs, not the TDA server. So for that, if I plan to use the TDA uh, server while I'm using my VM, the most easiest solution is to use a VM node instead of using my Unread node to do the transcoding so for that i will be using my unread uh, vms so i'm using the windows 10 vm currently so this video is uh, recording uh, on that um so let's just get started then first of all we need to go to the tda web page so this is their uh, page we'll have to go to their downloads tab so which is this one and you will have to download a tda node for your suitable operating system so as i told before i will be using windows so if you have linux you can do that as well so i'm just going to select the windows icon and you will be taken to this page in that you should select the uh, tda update of win32 underscore x4 for windows if you are using linux you can select this and for others as well so i have already downloaded this so if we go to downloads you can see this is the file i'm just going to open this and inside this you should be able to see a file called tda updater.exe so you will have to extract this onto a location where you can easily access so in my case i'm going to select c and i'm going to create a new folder and i'm just going to rename this okay after renaming i'm just going to select it and click ok to extract so after the extraction is done let's just go back to c and you should be able to see the folder that you just extracted and if i double click on it you should be able to see the exe so let's just open it and after running it uh, it will start downloading some files for the tda node as well as for the server so if you are planning to use the server uh, which is not run which is um, on windows you can do that without using the docker uh, option uh, or if you are just planning to use uh, just the node you can just leave the server as it is and just run the node so let's just wait for a few minutes uh, until this finish downloading So as you just saw, we finished uh, downloading both TDA node and TDA server. Now if we open TDA node and inside that you can see the application for TDA node, double click on it and it is starting to run but uh, if you see on the top, you can see that TDA node and TDA server doesn't have any IP addresses and 
on the bottom as well you can see that it says survey is not alive because it doesn't have the re relative informations so we'll just close this and after opening only uh, there will be a, a file which is created inside the configs so open that one and you should be able to see the tda node config file if you don't see it that is because you didn't run the tda node exe first uh, so after running only you will get uh, get this file so open this using uh, notepad or notepad plus uh, plus double click on this and here you can edit the tda nodes uh, informations so for this we'll just uh, rename uh, this uh, as gaming vm or gaming pc uh, so this is the name which is given to the tda node and for the node ip address it should be the ip address which is given to your pc so in my case the vm's ip address uh, or if it is a physical pc that pc is network card ip so just go to your network settings go to network and sharing center and you should be able to see the network card that you are currently using click on it go to details you should be able to see the ip address so the best solution is to assign a static ip address so in my case i'm running a dynamic static ip uh, assigned to my network card so it doesn't change every time so if you are running a normal dhcp there might be issues in the future if the pc doesn't get the same ip address as before so in my case it doesn't matter so i'm going to assign the ip address which is 192.168.0.150 okay and the node port is normally the default port so if you can go to your unread server or your specific doc uh, tda servers uh, configuration file and uh, you should be able to see the port numbers so these are the normal port numbers so normally that's uh, why i told so this is the normal port for the tda uh, not client so i'm just going to leave it as it is and for the server We'll assign the IP address which is given to our server. So currently my TDA server is running inside Docker, which is uh, inside Unread. And the IP address of Unread is 192.168.0.252. So I'm going to give that. And the server port which is given to my TDA server is 8266. So as you can see, it is also the same. So no matter in that and if you just uh, close this and save it still won't work because it doesn't know the paths where to receive the files and where to keep the temporary files so if you configured your uh, tda server inside unread or you configure it in somewhere else you might have given two library files so one should be the library file for uh, your media and the other should be the cache file so in my case these are the two files i have given so this is my media path and this is my uh, cache path so this is the local path uh, inside my server and this is the path which is read by the uh, tda server so in my case i have to give these two paths to this uh, path translator as well as the local path inside my vm where the local file is located so for this we need two of these options so i'm just going to copy this and give a comma here uh, press enter and paste it so we have two options and now uh, for the first one we need to give the library path which is this one just going to copy this paste it here and for the second server we are going to give the cache uh, container path which is this give it here and paste so now both server locations are given now we need to give the node location of these respective parts so if i go to my computer go to this pc uh, these are the two locations inside my uh, in uh, one of my servers so this is uh, my unread media uh, path which you just saw which i gave for this uh, media option inside the uh, tda and now also we need to map this one to my uh, computer so if i go here if i open my uh, share folder go to tda temp this is the path i'm just going to copy this go to my computer again 
go to computer map network drive and paste so and click finish so if we go back you can see the tda temp uh, network drive is mapped so if i go to my shares so these are the two shares that i'm running and that is why those two are mapped here uh, and for me to access them as they are two share folders i just need to map them into the respective locations so it's working now so if i just open this i can open this and you know, also if i try to open this one i can open this as well uh, now what i need to do is i need to uh, give the paths which are relative uh, for these options so just open t.temp first copy this one this goes to the temp location which is this and this should be the forward slash and for the media copy the drive letter and paste it here and this also should be the forward slash so these are the information that should be assigned so again this is the node type uh, id and this is the ip address which is given to your node installation installed server this is the default port for the node and this is the ip address where the tda server is running so currently my tda server is running inside docker inside unread so this is the my unread server and this is the server port for uh, communicating with the tda uh, server and these are the locations which are given inside my tda server if i show it again so these are the locations and this respective location goes to this one this one goes to here and these are the two network driver uh, letters which are assigned to the two shares which i just mapped to my uh, computer so x and y so x is my temp cache and y is my unread media and so because of that y goes to my media option and the temp option or the cache option goes to my uh, temp option so if you assign those respectively click save close this go back to c go back to tda encoder and go to tda node so inside node run the tda uh, node dxe again and if it if it's works correctly you shouldn't get any errors uh, on the server so as you can see it says that the path translator check in node path and tda node listening to the local server and it access the path and it's working fine now to make sure that it's uh, working fine we have to go back to our unread server and run the web ui of tda server and here you should be able to see the uh, tda node which i just ran uh, so gaming pc is running uh, before giving it a transcode so our goal was to assign the gpu to work with the tda node so i'm just going to select gpu one for now and inside options i'm just going to enable allow gpu workers to do cpu task as well so it's uh, enabled as well close it now let's just go back to my library and enable one of the library files which i just uh, which i have added to my tda server i'm just just going to enable this go back to tda now if it works fine you should be able to see a transcode which is running using the gpu and to prove that i'm just going to open the task manager go into performance and to gpu and as you can see it's using the gpu for encoding instead of the cpu so just like that you can use the uh, this trick to uh, run uh, gpu encodes for your tda server uh, and it's a very easy solution and so for me uh, i uh, got, got this idea because for me i didn't have the option to use my gpu for both tda and for my vm so this is my uh, solution for that and i hope this video is a helpful video for all of you and subscribe my channel and thank you guys for watching see you around